We're going to take a look at the creation of a work order in Maximo 7.5 today. Right now we have the maintenance manager dashboard open. As you can see, it has some uh, inbox messages that, that appear there, your queue of work orders that may need your approval or assignment in some way, uh, charting capability of overdue PM work orders by location, as well as totals on the right hand side. Down below you can see some KPI graphs. You can see the different uh, metrics on overdue work orders or the percentage of reactive work orders or overdue work orders. So a, a lot of ways that you can uh, present that data from a dashboard. To start out creating the work order, we're going to go to a self-service creation of a service request. So this would be a requester logged in. You can see that the logged in is Wilson. We're going to pick on the asset and you can look at assets that are assigned to that particular logged in person or you can restrict the list to, to, to all the assets and set up a, a filter. We're going to filter this down to HVAC units and select one of the HVAC systems that, is, that we're going to log this issue against and uh, the system allows us to classify that. We're going to select different problem types in here. We're going to select electrical and go over and fill out a description. This allows you to put some uh, formatting on the text. We're just going to type in some text here um, that we've got a, an issue with the motor. And then uh, from that point just submitting the work request. And you can see it comes up and asks you to would you like to create another request or view those details. We're actually going to return to the start center and that was from the re requester point of view. Now we're going to take a look at our um, as a supervisor that may be handling this work the service request that came into the system and we're going to click on look up that service request that came in from from the supervisor queue and this is where we can do our assignments and really any additional information uh, on the the service request before turning it into a work order. So we can see there may be a uh, priority that w that came in. We're going to assign it an internal priority. Uh, we'll assign it to crass persons later later in the process. But we'll save that record and then uh, apply an action here of creating a work order. So we're turning that service request into a work order. And this will be a supervisor role that's that's looking through the um, the service request. Okay, we've turned that service request into a work order. We're going to go back out to the start center and go to the work orders and the work order tracking. We'll do a quick filter on the work order was that was just created and select the record. And you can see the details in the screen of the HVA system what the what the issue was, the priority of the issue, and we're going to start to be, begin to plan that that work order. So in the system, we can create a labor assignment to a craft. So we'll select from our list of the different types of uh, trades that we have. We're going to select electrical. and then go to assignments and actually assign this to a specific craftsperson. All right. We'll go through through the list of craftspeople. We want to assign this to Wilson. This will enable the work order to show up in the craftsperson's queue. And we'll go in, save the record, and then save that to from waiting on approval to approved. So you'll notice the status changes to approved and we're going to go back out to the start center and log in as the craftsperson. Um, they have already got the, got the work, they've completed the work and now they're going into the system to actually close out and complete that work by tracking their labor and materials that they've assigned uh, to the work order. So you can see you'll go to the actuals tab for the work order. And there's already been the planned labor assigned, so we can just bring that record over. We'll select on the, the, the planned labor that was there. If there was estimated time, it would show up. But they can the craftsperson can go in and enter the time that, that took them to complete the job. And we'll save that record. 
and go into the materials, it allows you to apply uh, different parts and materials that you might have used to you know, track costs or to, to fix that issue. So we'll just filter down to a pump a gasket for the pump. Select that record and say OK. Now it allows you to say to tell the system which storeroom you selected that gasket from. So it'll automatically withdraw those the amounts, and we're going to put that we use two gaskets there, and the system will remove those two from the central storeroom supply of gaskets. And we'll save that record, and the craftsperson can go over it again, change the status to completed. And you'll notice that the work order is now completed with the message on top. And when we go back to start center, the work order is removed out of the active queue and it's now dropped down into the completed historical you know, analytics of the dashboard.